what this presentation is about is scaling governance at the meta, at the meta layer, um, which is an interesting concept. And I think a lot of people are talking about meta governance at the moment, which is interesting. Um, and there's actually like five different schools of thought. Maybe I can take this off. Like five different types of uh, meta governance, and everyone's sort of making a play into the space. Um, but I'm James from FireEyes, and FireEyes is sort of like a governance collective, which has done a lot of cool shit. Um, launched many of these tokens that you see here. Um, so sort of Gitcoin, ENS, a bunch of others. We work with teams for like six to 12 months around their decentralization um, and try and build a successful token launch and like empower the community to do badass things, uh, which is awesome. But it, it meant that actually we've launched these four of us. So me, Callum, Cooper, and Lucas, uh, which is not many humans, um, but there's a lot of projects there. And so sort of we got to the stage of how do we scale, right? Well, one way you could scale is by hiring 50 people and raising VC money and doing lame stuff. But another way you could scale is by launching a DAO. And so that's sort of what we did on Wednesday, on Wednesday-ish, maybe Thursday, uh, it was, was launch a Wildfire DAO, which is sort of meant to be the conducive new version of this. So why do we need that? DAOs are noisy as fuck, right? There is many, many proposals and many, many DAOs with much things going on. So just even on the right, left, the, the Aave, all of those Aave proposals, each one of those is like a piece of code, right? And there's like people talking about the code, people improving the code, people putting the code on chain to be, you know, to be implemented. Um, you know, Bankless, Gitcoin, ENS, they're all in the same camp where actually like the, the sheer number of proposals is just unmanageable. Um, some like global stats, you know, 5,000 total proposals, that's 5,000 times that people have had to go into a application and click like 70 buttons um, in order to actually make that proposal. Seven, over 70,000 total votes. Again, the amount of mind share and time that's literally going into clicking buttons in order to do that voting is a lot, is a lot of time. Um, and this is only growing, right? A couple of years ago, like three, I guess, years ago, there wasn't any, any DAOs to govern, right? There was like two, and we were excited about them, but we didn't need sort of more mechanisms to coordinate the governance because there was just no DAOs going on. But luckily now, it's working, right? We are all here, and many, most of the people probably at ETH Denver know what a DAO is, which is like amazing. But now we have to scale it in a different way. So not only are the DAOs noisy as fuck, but the humans are over-engaged and limited. So shout out to both Alex and Simona, who maybe maybe are here, but like they are the only two people that I could find that are playing like serious delegation roles in more than one project, right? Most people sort of pick their project and run with it and do amazing things for that project, but actually their their context should be used inside of other DAOs, right? But it's not. It's it's not like people are so busy and there's so much noise going on that you can't focus on more than one DAO. Well, practically. So, you know, how many people's calendar look like this one from uh, September 2007, right? There is infinite meetings and infinite shit going on constantly. Same as Discord, right? Everyone's, dis this is like a screenshot from my Discord. I'm 100% sure that there's a message in there that is actually really important that I really care about, but I just am not looking at it, right? I just don't see it. And so how do we actually scale this in a way where people can see the messages that are important, right? And can participate in that. I'm sure many of us are also very, very scared of Discord. I like Discord, but... It's just scary when it looks like that. Um, also, by the way, I hope everyone is really appreciating my amazing slides. You know, Naran's, they were good. There was a lot of, but these, this is some clip art quality shit. <laughs> um, so silos can't scale, right? All of these individual discords, all of these individual projects, all of these in individual delegates can't be in 100 places at once, right? There is only so long you can play the guitar and do the drums and do all of the things at once before you just get completely overwhelmed. So what do we do next, right? So hopefully some of you recognize this building, which has pretty gold leaf in the top, and it's like the fanciest looking building, which is the state capital of Colorado, right? Which is like just down the road. And inside of that building, there is shitloads of coordination going on, right? Sure, some of them are like sitting around in big offices being like, oh, how should we fuck up the world? But there's actually probably a lot of people that are purely just trying to coordinate, right? They are working out what proposals are being talked about. They are working out who's governing what and who needs to know about what. We don't have any of that infrastructure. Maybe we need a big shiny building and that will help, but more importantly is we need the humans inside of that building to actually be participating and learning about what's going on inside of these, all of these different governance collectives. So sort of how can we take the learnings from traditional governance and strip away the parts that suck, but include the parts where actually humans can coordinate and, and sort of become these meta governance liaisons, right? So the idea of a liaison office in traditional governance is literally just people understanding what's going on in the current governance 
like setting, and we need these same meta governance liaisons inside of inside of Web3 governance. And so, how do we do that? So we have squads of squads governing squads of projects, right? As opposed to individuals governing individual projects, which as this as this stuff continues to scale, is just not going to work. So shout out to both Mystic Wales and Triforce Tower, which is sort of like two newer squads that are doing a lot of cool stuff and sort of like trying to be this. Um, but also so Fire Eyes, which is again the collective that we're a part of, has you know launched and participated in all these different projects. Again, now there is too much, right? So what do we do? Here's what we dress up as Halloween, as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, so this is uh, that's what we look like in real life. Um, so you know how do we actually scale this? So you can sort of see there's like DeFi, public goods creator economy, and then infrastructure, right? So maybe rather than governing individual projects, we should instead be governing collectives. And you can have a lot of people inside of a collective that actually can be aware of what's going on in that, in that governance proposal, in that governance system. How can we you know, comment on proposals? How can we be a part of community calls? You know, ideally with this new wildfire DAO that we launched the other day, we want to have someone on, from wildfire on every single one of those community calls, right? The fact that no one has done that yet and sort of hasn't had complete presence across a given category or you know, subset of projects is crazy. And so hopefully we can improve that with, and sort of to Vitalik's talk just before, hopefully we were all listening, uh, he was talking about the idea of, you know, sort of the technical elements and the social elements. And sort of over, you know, 10 years ago, we didn't have, we didn't need social elements because we were building the technical elements, right? So maybe we're getting, getting to a stage now, especially around governance, where we actually need a lot more of these social elements to actually push things forward. Again, amazing clip art. Um, so on the right there, you can see this is a so this is pods the pods structure. So Julie is actually speaking right now about pods um, and about Orca protocol, which is dope as fuck. Uh, and sort of like how can we sort of build these new structures of squads and that can be on chain or social to sort of level up communities. Where a big part of like what FireEyes was initially meant to be wasn't this sort of like be all end all. You know, we want to work with the company for five thousand years and build it into this Goliath. It was supposed to be a collective that sort of can spark a flame and make real meaningful uh, conclusions in a short period of time and empower people all around the world to actually have better context than we do. Right? I am w when working with Gitcoin or NS, I am hundred percent certain that whether it be FireEyes or that individual team do not have the best answer. Right? It's some random person sitting in Poland or New Zealand or random stun, I don't know, random places, right? That's actually who has the best context that we need to be empowering in order to level them up and give those ideas to these protocols. That's sort of the magic of these protocols is that actually anyone can participate in governance, anyone can participate and anyone can ideate. And so what we want to do with this wildfire initiative is do exactly that and sort of launch we have 400 people in the Discord now that have joined in the past two days, um, and we're going to refine that list down. There's a Google form, and we sort of want to build these governance collectives where rather than governing an individual project, you can level up a squad and empower a new group of people to actually be doing that inside of it. So I have no idea how much time I've left. I think too much. See, and again, amazing clip art. So this might actually be hard to get on your phone. Maybe if you zoom in lots, you'll be able to do it. It's also on my Twitter, which is Blockchain James. You'll be able to find it. Um, but that's the Discord where anyone who cares about governance, seven, eight minutes. I got heaps of time. That's good. I want questions. Hopefully this is broken and you guys can tell me why it's broken. Um, join the Discord and get involved there. And again, we're doing the first community call for this on Friday at 1 p.m. Mountain Time. And so keen to have as many ideas as possible and sort of start to form these squads. And the other like little tidbit of information is we're funding the initial uh, wildfire DAO with 200k of our own tokens of, of projects that we've worked with. So again, going back to this one, all of these different projects, we, you know, we've been working with them and we have their tokens. And so we want to give them away to people that are involved in this. And so we're going to do like a signing bonus for those people that like get over the line and are really keen to be engaged, where each of them get a basket of all of these tokens, which is dope as fuck. And you should be excited about because tokens are cool and they're free. Well, they're not free, you gotta work. Um, so yeah, the article, the Discord, join, and I'm very open to questions.